You're beautiful. We have nobody disputing them facts. She's gorgeous. So can you kind of sort of walk us through that night? They want to stop. My friend and my cousin, they want to stop and get something to eat. So we stopped at the Maxwell of 116 pounds. When we got out of the car and we was proceeding into the restaurant, uh, the young lady and the man was already arguing when I got there. So it was arguing when I got there. She was explaining to him something about the line. He kept on trying to get her to shut up. Like, if you don't shut up, I'm going to hit you. Oh, my grandma kept on being, you know, aggressive with her. She, she was never aggressive. Let me get that part straight. Always stay calm and maintain herself. You know, she never got aggressive. So he kept on being, you know, telling her to be quiet, be quiet, shut up. So she, she was, uh, I guess her son had walked in at that point. And that's when you guys can hear the video, her telling her son to go to the car. And once she said, go to the car, y'all hear him say, go to the car, go to the car, say one more fucking thing, I'll hit you on my, uh, hit you in my grandma. And that's when he hit her in the, uh, he hit her, started hitting her, and everybody pushed me out the door, and my phone fell, fell on the ground, where I fell to in my phone, so. Wait, 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 now, I didn't even know that. So you saying that the people who panicked pushed you down? Yeah, it pushed me down. So I broke my phone, so I can't use my phone unless I get my, uh, Mom, what you call that? Your speakerphone? My, uh... Stylus. Stylus, yeah, my stylus. Ooh, you do got Android, you fancy. Huh? Yeah, that's Android. Yeah, uh, Galaxy, Galaxy, baby. <laughs> Samsung, don't play with me. Galaxy, I love so, Samsung. So, you, you did not, you, so basically you was in there trying to get food, you saw the sister there, what made you record? So um, when I talked to you, you talked about having witnessed this, having recorded it, and six or seven days later, you said you watched something on the internet that also motivated you to share. What was that? All the comments, how they was bashing that black woman, I saw like they was just this, like she just sent her son in the restaurant and said, just shoot a random person. Just like she was this bad mother. And we, as black people, we get painted in that light all the time. And as a black woman with black boys, I would I would not. And so you said, I got to share this. I would do it again. Because they always tell us to be quiet. Everybody, they got us in so much fear. I don't feel no, I don't fear nothing. I love that. Nothing. I love that. Nothing. Because I would want anybody to do this same act for me if me and my son was in that situation. That's amazing. You, you, but but everything you saw as it relates to people saying she told her son to come in there, she was trying to be a man and be combative with him. These are things, no, you didn't see none of this. No. All the last what they said told him to shoot him, get up on, no, I never heard that. See, I'm to tell y'all, y'all better stop believing everything this internet tell y'all. Because, baby, I keep telling y'all, fake news. And if you don't believe you hear it from the horse's mouth, fake news. I love it. Is there anything else that you would say or would want to say? No, that as uh, black people, we need to stick more together. Yep. Yes. Because Cal is not going to get us nowhere. There's too many of our black kids out here getting killed. It's too many. It's like we at war with ourselves. Mm. We had war for what? We all out here trying to survive. But we hate each other so much. And I don't understand that. And I'm going to stick and I'm going to ride for man all the time. That's amazing. I got a couple more questions for you, and then I'm going to uh, switch gears a little bit. Um, when, you, you shared the, when you shared the video, what did you think it was going to do? Justice for that young lady and her son. 
that's all I was thinking about. And I'm gonna be honest, the the most the, the person that was on my heart the most was that child. Yes. yes. I have sons. I have a son that's locked up right now that I'm trying to get out right now. This going through the same thing in jail right now. And I would want somebody to do it for me. I want to touch and hug my son right now. Wow. Do you understand? I'm a mother. And so what about, and I mean, and this is the last question, the last two questions. You see people are talking now. Do you, well, no, 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 no. About the young man, about her son. I'm sorry, I had to think about this. He was portrayed like this, this kid that just did this, he was like a thug. What, what did you see with the son? Talk about the son, what you saw. Oh, when I did my background check and he already telling me all the uh, things he have accomplished, how he was just graduated from high, I me mean, from um, grammar school on his way to high school. No, I couldn't allow that. That boy ain't even finished living. No, he deserved a chance. Because he a hero, because he helped save his mother's life. Yes. Because honestly, looking at the, I mean, looking back on that situation at night, I don't think that young man would have got down and would have stopped. Because he kept on. It's just one like a one hit and leave it alone. It was multiple. And he did what any son would do for their mother. That's a, that's a man's instinct to protect his mother and his sister. A woman, period. I heard that the place was packed. Like it was a lot of people. The place was what? Was, the place, was, it, was it a lot of other people there that could have possibly intervened? No. It was it was the young lady that was arguing. The guy that she was arguing with. It was an older man and back to her. Then it was another older man and back of her. Then it was the young lady I was with. Then it was me. Jesus so that's what. And then it was the girl on the side that I think the young man was with. The one that y'all heard in the video saying he told you to shut up. I think he, she was with him. Okay. So that's a total of two men, me, what, six people? Six of every no. It, was, it wasn't crowded, no. Okay. Not at all. Not nobody there that could have uh, got got that uh, man off of her. No, because the two men that was in back of her, they was oh, like one had looked like he was about in his eighties, and the man that was behind him wasn't that much younger. Mm -hmm. Then you got three girls in there. Yeah. Um, I want you to know what the one thing that I love about you is that you never was looking for credit. Even when I called you, you was not looking for credit. But I wanted to tell you on this live, and I'm pretty sure everybody on this live feels the same way. What I told you on the phone, you a hero, a shero. You are a shero. I got rewarded when I re uh, when God allowed me to uh, help him. That was the biggest reward he could have gave me to allow that mother and that child yeah. to walk away and have a second chance. But do you do you understand that there's so many people who, even myself, you know, we we might have done our little parts, but do you understand that because you did that brave thing, that this family was released. You know, you this is you you know God really did use you for that, right? Mm -hmm. I know because I, I was trying to get home all that night. I even called my son to try to pick me up and he won't come. I knew I felt something, but something was going on that night. I knew it. And I never, I, I wanted to get home bad. I even called my son, he won't come get me. Nobody will come get me. So that's how I ended up because I would have went home. I wouldn't have been in that situation if my son would have picked me up. But he said, you know, so that's how I ended up staying and they, was, they picked me up. So I look at that God wanted me to be there because he knew I was going to do the job that he needed me to do. So how, so how, uh, this is a question that someone asked me to ask you. What do you think that we as a community can do to heal? How we how we handle each other, how we view each other, heal our situation. What do you think? I think we need to learn how to deal with our emotions. Mm. People don't know how to deal with their emotions. And, and I can be honest, it's something that I'm working on. I used to be that girl, somebody say something to me, yeah, 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 you know. But, you know, people don't know how to deal with their emotions. And I have, you know, you have to sit back, you know, and ask yourself, why you feel like this way? Why you hurt? What hurts? What's making you hurt? You know? And so I've been a little more kind to us, to, to, to our neighbors and stuff. I've been living on this where I live in for years. And, and, and this world has became to make us so distant. 
I know we grew up, we all helped each other on the block. We cleaned up together, we cooked together. Like, this generation, it's just, I don't know. It's so much hate. Thanks again. I really want you to know that I, I just adore you. Like, I really do. I really adore you. So Rahima, uh, uh, I wish that I could have had you come to my house, but I couldn't get you come to my house. Hold on. I wish I could have had you come to my house, but you can't come to my house, and that's okay. But I know that you all were able to talk on the phone, but I want to show you somebody really quickly. Is that okay? I got it. Hey, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Because I've been looking for you. Don't make me cry. I see y'all. Oh, my God. She going to make me cry on here. And I've already been looking crazy, balling my face up in tears. Rahima. 